Uh, Oklahoma. Let's talk about this one. I'm a. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this because, man, uh, there were a lot of people that were just jumping all over Nebraska, and I just didn't see it. I could not find it. And this is why. Uh, Good gracious, yards per play, over two and a half more yards per play for Oklahoma, 580 yards to only 327. Um, I mean, just nuts. Uh, Only one turnover for Oklahoma to only two for Nebraska, which is kind of nuts. You would think in a game like where it's this lopsided – that Nebraska would have had more turnovers, but no. Uh, 62.5% on third down for Oklahoma, 35% on third down for Nebraska. Uh, Oklahoma got one of their two fourth down tries. They had nine drives inside the 40, nine scoring opportunities. They had 4.67 points per scoring opportunity and 2.8 to Nebraska. They they scored off of uh, defense, like off turnovers. They had nine yards of field position advantage. Just bonkers here. Uh, they they destroyed them. Look at these drive charts. I mean, this is <laughs> you get you score a touchdown on the second drive, you punt on the next one, and then it's touchdown, 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 missed field goal, touchdown, 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 and then once you get into garbage time, I mean, it's just ridiculous. And and Nebraska scored on that first drive, and then on their last drive, and that's it. Just nuts. Uh, Humphrey jumps in. Uh, I thought the Huskers' O-line would sure show more heart against uh, against Oklahoma. Uh, Gabriel's run broke their confidence early. Yeah, that's part of it. Um, this is a roster problem. Th- this was not something that Scott Frost was doing to lose these individual, you know, one-possession games, uh, especially this season. This was this was roster problem. And Oklahoma looked like a playoff contender. I mean, they look absolutely awesome. Um, I mean, you look at these... Just the win probability on this was so awesome. By the way, on this graphic on the screen, green is good and purple is bad. So just just tossing that out there. Uh, 82 Atlantic says, Satterfield floated his name for the South Carolina job before Beamer got... Yeah, no, 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 I, we know that. But regardless, like, these coaches float their names all the time. Either you support them or you don't. Like, it is what it is. So regardless. Uh, so back to Oklahoma. This, again... Nebraska, roster problem. Oklahoma looks like a playoff contender in year one for Brent Venables. That defense, like, people had questions in the first couple of weeks because they didn't exactly light the world on fire against UTEP or against uh, whoever they played last week, uh, Kent State, right? But they were kind of holding stuff back to get to a game like this. And that's what we typically see is you're holding stuff back until you really have to show it against somebody. And that might have been the problem with Kansas State as well, by the way, against Tulane. They didn't think that they would have to do that, uh, pull all the tricks out of the bag to be able to get the win. But regardless, uh, you mess around with that too much and I might not be able to uh, get that W for sure. So, yeah, this was, I mean, Oklahoma did everything that they wanted to against this team. Everything they wanted. Dylan Gabriel, by the way, putting up the stats, uh, just Looked awesome. Uh, 16 out of 27, 230 yards, two touchdowns. This was the Jeff Lebby uh, game. This was the Jeff Lebby offense in full motion. Gabriel, six carries, 55 yards, and one touchdown. Eric Gray, by the way, uh, 11 carries, 113 yards. Like, they were able to do whatever they wanted. The entire ballgame. It was nuts to see. So, Oklahoma 49, Nebraska 14 was... uh, a success for the Sooners. Uh, and if you were trying to fire Scott Frost so that he wouldn't be embarrassed by Oklahoma, well, that's one thing. Uh, but it didn't keep the embarrassing stuff from happening. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.